Hey Infamy, welcome to the official celebration video of the 5th Infamy Anniversary. For those of you who can't count, that means that Infamy has been around for 5 whole years. It's insane how Minecraft Guild can last that long. What's even crazier is how much change this guild has gone through in 5 short years. We were one of the top guilds for a few years, and then we died a bit, you know, just a bit of staleness. And now we're starting to rise up in the ranks again. We're currently the 54th best guild in Hypixel, hoping to reach 53 by maybe end of the year, probably. We've had some exoduses, some more successful than others, we've had alliances come and go, we've had some killer events. We also watched as this YouTube channel became primarily shitpost based, thanks to a certain someone. But that's just recent history. Like I said, we've been around for five whole years, which means there's a lot more history to cover. With that being said, I got an old friend of Infamy to help me out for this one. He was here since pretty much the beginning, so please give a warm welcome to Kronos. Why, hello! Hello, hello, how are you doing today, Hawk? I'm doing great, you ready to get this over with? Phenomenally, yes. <laughs> only, only the highest tier of work. Alright, uh, I'll you just right, hop right in. Hop right, yeah, hop right in. I'll just mute and let you go with the flow. Alright, well, don't mute. Have input. It's better when it's a back and forth. Um, yeah. alright. No one wants to hear my voice. They don't want to hear your sexy, majestic voice instead of mine. I think they want to hear the owner's voice. Bit of influence. Oh, I doubt that. I like myself. <laughs> you don't have much influence on your guild. <laughs> I, oh, I got influence. They didn't say it was good influence, but I got influence. <laughs> Uh, um. All right, let's let's take us back. I gotta stand up here. I like to pace when I talk. <laughs> stand up. That's um, brilliant. Let's see. I could do webcam even if we needed to. Oh god, um, I gotta do Chrono's webcam in here. <laughs> um, back in let's go back to 2015. A young man named Omar, graduating out of high school out of the New York, New Jersey area, he played football among other sports. Most of all. He was a Minecraft player. And what he decided that he was going to do is he was going to go to a server called Siege World. Siege World was promoted in 2015 and 2016 by Beijing Canadian and ASF Drone. And he decided that he wanted to play on their server, you know, for a chance to meet them. And he began to play on that server. And uh, when he began to play on that server, he really enjoyed it. But he applied for staff. And Omar, under the name of Shiftblade, became a moderator for Siege World. He was probably around 16 at the time. And a, a character that won't come in until later also became Mod. Now, he was a little underage for Mod. He just lied about his age. And his name was Milkshake Loaf. Omar created a clan on Siege World called Merciless. Siege World was a factions type of server, and there was these big clans that had all the power. Merciless was the second biggest, only defeated by one of the admins groups called Oblivion. Oblivion was where I got my start, in February of 2016. 2015 goes by, the first few seasons of Siege World pass, and Omar's guild expands. He picks up Milkshake Loaf into his clan, and they play a bit, and they become friends. But Merciless begins to die out, overtaken by other clans on Siege World that would battle Oblivion as their new rival. And Omar let his clan die. He didn't really care about it. Now, Milkshake Loaf, on the other hand, he had a Hypixel clan called Infamy. And it was called Infamy at the very start, but it was a different Infamy. And I would, I would argue that it's different than the Infamy that exists today, because I think it might have actually been a different clan, but I'm not sure. Um, Grant's Infamy, Grant is Milkshake Loaf, had about 11 people. And... Those people numbered from uh, a girl named Hawk, uh, a, a, a nice person named Herc. Herc came from a clan called Troy's Cookies, which was a YouTuber that Herc used to watch, but that was full of annoying kids. So Herc started clan hopping, and they found Infamy, and they, they liked Grant, so they joined. And while all this was taking place, Omar still had the wreckage of his Merciless, and he knew Grant had his Hypixel clan. So he decided... I'm going to put on a bit of a ploy, alright? I'm going to go to this Oblivion clan that I used to be rivals with, and I'm going to join up, I'm going to act friendly, and I'm going to see if I can take some of their members, make some friends. So he joins Oblivion, and I was in there as a captain at the time. Our ranking system was member, lieutenant, captain, 
something that was like officer admiral i think and then uh general and i was a captain at the time and so i was um more friends with the people that had been in there for a long time but since omar was new and a member he began to befriend the other new members there were some other names of mitchell and uh, cookie or hydro austin kate marsh a whole slew of people oh bangers and he became their friend and he was like guys these girls are kind of dying this clan's not really gonna go anywhere I've got my old clan, I've got you guys, and I'm one of my old clan mates, he's got a, a Hypixel clan. Let's all, let's forge Merciless with this infamy clan and create a new clan. So they did. And Omar became the first owner of Pantheon, the kingdom of the gods. Kingdom of the gods. Kingdom of the gods. That's what Pantheon is, yeah? The Pantheon in the heavens. That has been um, back with the Pantheon is. And for their roles in the clan, they didn't go with your simple military ranks like Oblivion or the current corporate ladder that you guys have. Instead, they decided, what better to fill the pantheon with than the Roman archaics themselves? You had Mercury, Venus, for some reason Earth, which isn't a god, but they did it. Mars, Neptune, and then Jupiter. Yeah. Ju- or Uranus, sorry, Neptune, Uranus, then Ju- Jupiter. Earth's Uranus was the officers. Earth's huh? technically a god. Gaia. Well, that's different. They don't call <laughs> it Earth. Like, Mercury is Hermes, Venus is Aphrodite, Mars is Ares. Uh, I don't know what you're... Uranus Jupiter. is... Uranus is um the sky. Yeah, and then Jupiter is, is Zeus, etc. Jupiter is Zeus. Neptune, uh, Poseidon. Hera is called Vulcan. She's not a planet. <laughs> Pluto is Hades. <laughs> so they took on the Roman names and made that their roles. In this new clan, led by the owner, Omar, with his officer, Grant. And they had some other really key people, I would say, from the original days of Infamy, Pantheon. Um, key ones, I think, are... Uh, there's a girl named Bella Sparkles, who goes by Ella now. She was an officer at the time. Had a lot of influence. Minnie Mitchell, who I mentioned earlier, was an officer. Austin was an officer. Hydro was rising the ranks. Herc was gaining a lot of power, doing a lot of work. Uh, some other people joined the clan, Blocky, Mark, Hydra, you know, all those people. Everyone was joining HM Web. Some names that I'm not going to name everyone because there's too many for me to like remember in one sitting. But a lot of people were joining. It was good. I was still in Oblivion at the time because I was I'd been in Oblivion since February, so I was still friends with all the older people. So I didn't like go and leave with the new members. But I did have one friend named Slime in Oblivion. And Slime was a bit of a devious man. Slime wanted to collapse Siege World from the inside. He realized that the clans were the structure keeping Siege World alive, and he thought if he could destroy the clans from the interior, that he could cause Siege World to fall and then steal the player base for his own server. Which he tried to do. There was a server called Phoenix Craft that had a short lifespan that was the wreckage of Siege World. But in that process, he befriended Omar. And he joined their Discord, and because I played with Slime a little bit, I played with Omar and Slime, and eventually one day we were in a VC in probably mid-August, or no, maybe July of 2016. And Omar said, hey, I've got this high pixel clan, you want to join? And I was like, let me ask my officer in my other clan, because, you know, I was a little 12-year-old, and I was like, I can't make an independent decision, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I went to my officer, I was like, hey, um, can I join this other clan for, for high pixel only? Like, I'll stay with you guys, because, like, I, j- I want to play high pixel with them. And they said no. So I didn't. <laughs> and then a week went by, and I said, screw it, and did it anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little rebellious like that. Something like that. <laughs> rebellious phase. Yeah. Um, that was always one of my big flexes, though, is uh, I got into Infamy without application. I was invited, because I was just so great. I actually didn't meet the requirements to join Infamy until I was an advisor. Um, <laughs> that was always one of my favorite things. Um, now we get to what I'm going to call the Civil War era of Infamy. Or Pantheon, as it was called at the time. Omar and Grant, at this point, were kind of co-leading Pantheon. You know, The people that had come from the original and that were high pixel players tended to side more with Grant. But the strong core base that had joined from Siege World like Bella and many of them, they followed Omar. And Omar 
was getting a little bored with Minecraft. You know, he was a bit of an older teen at the time. He decided he wanted to split off. He wanted to try new games. Warframe, Paladins. He told us of a little game that was going to be coming out later that year called Fortnite. Who would have known? Wish I listened to him. He told us before season one even started that it was coming out. We were all like, that'll be stupid. <laughs> happen. Oh, but little <laughs> did they know. I remember. It was it was literally like September, the year that it came out. Like It, got, it didn't get big until like November. He was like, guys, there's a really cool free game on the store. You guys want to get it? And we're all like, nah. Magic skins. We could have been rich. <laughs> Nah, Fortnite will never match up to Minecraft. What do you mean? Yeah, I didn't think Fortnite would be anything. Little did we know. Three million dollar grand prize for the Puga headset. <laughs> 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 um, so, Omar wanted to branch. He wanted to pick up new players from new games, expand the Discord, expand the player base, become like a bigger thing. But Grant said no. Grant said... I want this to be high pixel focused. I want this to be a tight knit community based on high pixel. And they had a falling out over this. Grant was the, currently at that point in time. Grant was the owner of the in-game clan, the in-game uh, guild. Sorry, while Omar owned the Discord. So Grant made a new Discord, which is the current Discord that you guys use today. Uh, you still use the Discord from that. Uh, I don't know if it was September or October of 2016. But Grant made the Discord. I was in the call when it all went down. Because um, was, I was one of the first people he invited. If you scroll up to the top of Banzerbox right now, it might take you a few hours. But I got the first message. That's me. That's me. I'm Kronos. First message in Banzerbox. If everyone wants to start clapping, uh, I'll take your round of applause. Thank you. I'm going to go delete. I'm going to go get a, delete real quick. One second. You're going to get a what? I'm going to go delete it. You're going to go delete. No, don't delete <laughs> <laughs> Your market that's, history doesn't exist, Kronos. Travesty. <laughs> it's the one thing I've got going for me. <laughs> <laughs> that one message is your entire infamy yes. legacy. Uh, so Pantheon split into two. There's two Pantheons. There was the Pantheon that had Mitchell, Austin, Bella, Gr uh, Omar. And there was the one that had Perk, Mark, Hydra, me, uh, Jess, Destinator, Beba, Dolphins, Webb. Just all the people that played Hypixel versus the people that played other games. And the Discords were split in two. Now, both Discords actually survived today with somewhat activity. Um, I'd say the, the other old Pantheon uh, is more active than you guys with voice calls, but you guys are de definitely more active in the chats. So, that's they, they both survived incredibly, which is pretty rare, I feel like, for online groups to last that five-year time. Especially after a divide like that. And around this time after this divide... Infamy began to expand on Hypixel, you know? We were still upgrading the player limit at the time. I don't, is it still like that on Hypixel you have to upgrade your guild to have a bigger player limit? I am i don't know, but right now we're at, like, the max, I think, of 125. Right. We weren't at the max at the time. We had a waiting list based off of when we were, like, reaching new maxes. <laughs> I don't know if they've changed over the years so that everyone could just start with, like, the max available capacity, but... I remember, like, every time we'd unlock new capacity, we'd, like, let some new members in. So we were full. We were a full guild, but we weren't as big as we are now. Not as many people were in the Discord. Uh, it, was a, it was a very, it was a smaller, more tight-knit tight -knit community. Uh, we had our first GVG, and uh, I think it might have been against Ran Ran Kings at the time. I remember that one. We won. We, we, we used to win all our GVGs. You know, we were, we were kind of goaded. You know, it always <laughs> happened. <laughs> and, uh, one of our first allies was a clan called Blazing Sky. And I don't think Blazing Sky is around anymore, but they would become a lead proprietor in an alliance that we would later create. But before we get to that story, we need to discuss a single man that held Infamy in his hand. A single man who could have crushed Infamy and watched the flames burned. A man by the name of K-Scope. Dun dun dun. <laughs> K-Scope was a man who lived without peril. He lived without fear or shame. He held destruction in his team speak hands and said, I can do whatever I want. I don't care how, how many kids cry about it. Infamy had an SMP. And Grant was running it by himself. You know, He'd never run a server before. He was trying to figure it out. And this guy joined the clan. His name was K-Scope. He was a new member. 
He's like, oh, I, I've run an SMP before. I can help you with that. And Grant was like, oh, this is this is fantastic. I I just got the help I need. And Gay Scope was like, not a problem, my guy. I got you. But he started helping out with the SMP, and I guess whatever provider they were using, it could connect to your Discord account. So Grant gave K Scope's alt the SMP manager role. Oh no! Which does become crucial later on. Uh, K Scope got promoted to trusted in almost his first week. You know, he was being really helpful, really active. And they were like, yeah, let's run out the guy. He's being good. He was flying through the ranks. The SMP manager role had a little known ability where it could see into office. I don't know if it could chat in office, but it could see in office. So he kept that account on offline mode, so it seemed like it was never on. But he was reading office as a trusted. He was gaining info that wasn't public. And he was going to, in turn, use that against us. Now, this was a couple months after the little Civil War experience had happened, and tensions had cooled. Omar was never going to join uh, Infamy again in the full experience of playing Minecraft. That wasn't for him anymore, but he had rejoined our Discord, and they had put him in office. You know, He was the original member, he was an older kid, he, he had more experience, and he was going to be able to guide them and help them in how to lead this new way. So he was in office. And obviously, it was still a little tense. There was still a bit of a deceit among the members of the office. But we were moving slowly and good. Uh, some suggestions got made by, I think, Hurt. And I think Omar refuted them. Like, he didn't think they were a good idea. And K-Scope saw that, and he pounced. He took those messages, and he sent them to some people, and then he sent them to Grant, and he said, hey, I'm leaking office. This is what he leaked to me. And Grant was mad. You know, he trusted K-Scope. K-Scope helped him with the SMP. He was doing all this stuff for Infamy, or Pantheon at the time still. And so he's like, Omar, you're done. He booted him from the Discord, blacklisted, banned. He was gone. Ella? Ella was furious. She left. Mitch was furious. He left. A lot of people laughed when this event happened. This this was like a big break. You know, they, they followed Omar. Omar was their leader. It, it, it hurt the guild. K-Scope was like, well, we need some restructure. We need to be able to fix what's been damaged. So he decided to introduce a system called the Alpha and the Beta the GVG teams, which you guys still use today. Uh, Alpha and Beta were not a thing. We just had one GVG team at the time with like a ton of members, and they'd play when they couldn't. Uh, I was never a GVG member, but due to lack of players, I actually did participate in one GVG, which we did lose, and I think I got like one kill. <laughs> I was never a very good player, but... Hey, know, one, kill, one kill is more than zero kills, you know? One kill is more than zero kills. Boom. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so um, he made these GVG teams so they could practice against each other and this new guy joined the clan and I think his name was like Care Bear and Care Bear uh, did a 1v he was like 1v1 me 1v1 me so like someone 1v1 them and he was horrible he lost so badly he was like a terrible player everyone was like oh great and K-Scope's like hold on guys let, let me train Care Bear up for a week let me, let me see if I can make him any better. So K-Scope and Care Bear, they, they, they're in, you could see them in a private call, you could see them playing every day, and a week later, Care Bear re-1v1s people, and he's winning these matches. He's, like, beating everybody. Like, it's a total 360. He is destroying everyone. And we're like, whoa! What did K-Scope teach this guy? And K-Scope's like, well, like, I'm really good at, like, teaching, like, Minecraft PvP and stuff. Like, I can, like, teach new members so we can have a really stacked PvP team. And we were like, like, no way, this is sick. And Care Bear, you know, like, he was getting better, he was participating, so he started climbing the ranks too. And by this time, I think Keyscope was uh, applying for advisor, and he got it easily. He, he was being helpful, he was doing this, teams, everything. He exposed Omar, you know, he, he everyone loved him, he was doing great. He gets to advisor. And he created a DM group called the Supreme Leader's Office that was like the office, but certain people were excluded from it. I don't remember who exactly, but it was like people that he didn't get along with It didn't have access to it. So they could plan without him. Um, K-Scope then 
proposed a system. Uh, I'll hold it. Sorry. Are we able to pause real quick? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> My mom wants me to take the dog out. <laughs> <laughs> a short intermission. I'll be like ten seconds, ten, ten, like five, three minutes, three minutes. All right. No worry. No problem. I, I, I. Normally they'd do it, but they're doing a parent orientation for college. Ah, okay. BRB. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to the Infamy Podcast Intermission. Thank you for your patience. We'll be back with you shortly. So, um, where did I leave off? K-Scope? Well, oh, I, I was about to tell you what he proposed. So, yes. K-Scope proposed a new form of clan government structure. What K-Scope wanted to do was he wanted to have our clan be more of a democracy. You know, before it was just Grant owned it. Grant owned the Pantheon, and that was how everyone kind of saw it. Everyone like, kind of just took Grant's word for law. But K-Scope said, let's have a democracy. Let's employ a system where a majority vote is what wins in the office, and if we have like a three-fourths majority, and the officers can vote down the leader, being Grant, like out of the clan. And we were a little sus of that plan. We didn't really like it. We kind of liked how um, Grant was our owner, but it was given consideration because yeah, it's an idea. And case government been so helpful and right about so many things before, they thought about it. And around this time, k Scout made his fatal flaw. You see, k Scout had done this before in other clans. He'd been so helpful in other guilds. And in these other guilds, 
he performed a thing called an operation. There was an operation, Luminescence, operation of other guilds, ones I don't even know the names of, where he would join, he would be helpful, he would gain power, and then with that power, he would delete the Discord, delete their history, kick all the members, uh, delete the clan, he would just destroy it from the ground, from the, from like the ground zero. He would obliterate it, so it was gone off the planet. And that's what he planned to do with uh, Pantheon. But he made one fatal flaw. That day, he proposed um, a vote to change the name of Pantheon. You know, he was like, well, you know, this is the name of Omar's thing. Why don't we make it our own? Let's, let's have a vote for a name change. And he submitted the name Corsair, and Grant submitted his name before he had joined with Merciless of Infamy. And... In a tight vote, Corsair ended up winning to be the guild's new name. And that night, while he was celebrating, playing Speed UHC with one of our officers, Hydro, he decided to let Hydro in on his plan to destroy Infamy. But he, he had a little too much faith in his friendship with Hydro. Hydro had been there since the beginning. Hydro had been on Siege World all the way back in March or May of 2016. Hydro had been there a long time. The Hydra immediately ran to Grant and blew the whole tap off of the bottle that was K-Scope's plan. He he told him, and we all gathered in a call, we brought K-Scope in, we confronted him, and then he wasn't, he didn't try to hide it, he, he swore at Hydra and was, he took him down, he was like, oh, we could have been great, this could have been so funny, da 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 and then we banned him from the Discord, gone, permanently, K-Scope was never seen again. Um, <laughs> obviously not. He's been struck five... down by the gods of Pantheon. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> About five minutes after we banned Gay Scope, we messaged him and we're like, hey, if we invite you back, will you tell us what you were going to do when you got an officer? And so we invite him back five minutes after permanently banning him. And he told us his whole plan. He told us how that that uh, Care Bear guy, the guy that he trained to be like an amazing player, was actually his friend from his old group called Corsair. They talked on TeamSpeak, and apparently this guy was like a god at Minecraft. He just acted like he was a bad player when he brought him in. He wanted to take in a Pantheon and um, kick everyone out of it, remove everyone but himself. And then invite his Corsair friends from TeamSpeak, because the name would have been changed to Corsair at that point, and literally have just created a Discord for themselves out of someone else's Discord. He, he wanted to turn a Pantheon into Corsair, and then kick everyone from Pantheon. Uh, so when this happened, we are like, well, not stick with the name Corsair, let's go with the runner-up, Infamy. And that's how Infamy became the name of uh, Pantheon. And uh, now you're here with Infamy. <laughs> K-Scope uh, would... I mean, what, what is he right now? Is he he's, actually, right now? he's actually staff right now, but he's, I, he's, he's right never now, getting... Lovely. He's a divisor. He doesn't have any um, powers like that. <laughs> um, K-Scope getting advisor for the remainder of my time in this clan was a very controversial point. There was many arguments of whether K-Scope had changed, whether K-Scope would abuse power, whether K-Scope could be trusted, and me and Hurt tended to remain on the side of, he's fun, he's chill, but we don't want to give him power, we don't want to take that risk. Grant was always a huge proprietor of, let me let, me let K-Scope run my clan for me. You know, Grant kind of always just passes it off. Um, let's see, where to go from here? Grant, around this time, was getting stressed, you know? The guild, it was becoming a lot a lot of stuff that just happened with K-Scope, people were pressuring him, and he took a break, and during that time, he promoted Herc to owner. Now, Herc was a person who I thought was a guy. Everyone thought Herc was a guy. And if anyone knows Herc now, they probably know Herc's a girl. And I'm not anti-LGBTQ+, Herc wasn't transgender or anything. It's just that Herc never talked in a VC before that point. Herc had joined from Troy's Cookies, as I mentioned earlier, and was now the owner of Infamy without having ever talked in a VC. Now, how does that happen? Herc, 
member who was put in effort. They did everything they could, but they just said they couldn't talk in VC because their parents wouldn't get them a mic and their parents couldn't hear them talking. But Herc claimed to be a guy named Patrick. But that's not who Herc really was. <laughs> About six months after I left, we later learned that Herc had been a girl the entire time. Now, as you all know, your gamers on the internet, girls don't always have it easy. They get made fun of, they get teased, they get harassed. So when Herc was guild hopping and joined Brant's little gang, she didn't expect to stay in the guild long. She thought she would just like, see how it was, then dip and go to another clan. But she kind of fell in love with Infamy at the time. But by that point, a month and a half in, having still told no one they were a girl and just going along with the fact that they were a boy, they felt like they were too into the charade to uh, really break out of it. Sorry, I drank some water. <laughs> um, <laughs> Say hi, Jared. Yeah. Uh, Hurt would remain as a guy for a year and a half until they finally gathered a bunch of people in a voice call and just talked, shaking the, the ground that everyone had once stood on. I mean, it, I was never active with Herc at the same time again. Um, I've, I've, we've both, I think, had active spurts, but they never have uh, lined up. So for me, it is hard to like picture Herc as a girl since I always knew Herc as a guy, but all of the modern members, I mean, Herc's a girl to them because Herc is a girl. <laughs> um, an interesting time to say no less, but Herc held the owner role for a period of time and then Grant came back and I'm pretty sure she submitted it back to Grant. Grant would remain owner for a period of time where the staff team would go through small shifts. Uh, he promoted one of his friends to officer Silver Eyes, who, to be honest, I didn't think deserved it because I'd never heard them talk once, but they, they were good, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, we had one person in the clan named like uh, Luke USA who held the record of having not talked the longest. Uh, I don't know if they're still in the Discord, but they did not talk ever. I mean, it, it was crazy. Um, like not even like like just VC not talking or like just in chat. No, just never talked in chat at all. Like I just, just looked up Luke USA in the search, and Hydra said in 2020 in May, only OGs remember Luke USA. <laughs> Luke USA never talked. Luke like, USA was just like vibing, bro. <laughs> literally, like I, I I don't know. I. I I don't know if he's like still in here or what, but the man, the myth, the legend, Luke USA. Literally, like he's just uh he's not in the Discord anymore. He's still got four mutual friends of Bangers, Grant, Nick Harrison, and uh someone else. The hero but... we needed, not the one we deserved. Literally. Like, he... <laughs> <laughs> he was in the guild for like eight months, never got purged. Like three purges happened. I never saw him chat or play the game a single time. But he was just kind of like this living relic. <laughs> um, my alarm's going off. Nobody's allowed Seriously. to touch him. Anyone Literally. kicks him, they're blacklisted. <laughs> Luke USA, the legend. Um, a big shift that did happen in the staff team at the time is a, a girl joined the clan, and her name was Jess. Uh, Jess brought with her a friend named Laura. Uh-oh. We all know where oh, this is going. Jennifer, a moment. <laughs> Laura... Uh, got blacklisted very fast. <laughs> 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 it didn't take long. But Jess started e-dating another guy in the clan named Destinator. And they both became advisor, they both became staff. They're they're pretty active, pretty prominent. And they decide, what if we just dip and make our own clan called Soup? So they did, and no one joined, and their clan failed horribly. And then they, they just came back. <laughs> that was probably like the biggest drama of January. Not much happened. We were infamy, we were happy, we were a good guild. And I'm not sure the timing of this, but I'm going to place it around here. Infamy had made a couple alliances by then, alongside Blazing Sky. Blazing Sky's high-ranking member or leader, I don't think he was their leader, his name was Jams. Jams left Blazing Sky and made his own clan called Elon. And we also partnered up with Horus the Locals clan, High Pixel Knights, to create... What would only be known as the Bike Alliance. B I K E E. No. K E E. Bikey. -E. Never. I don't know what I just said. Not Bikey. B I K E. Blazing Sky, Infamy, Knights, and Alon. That's what the letters stood for. 
Many clans would join the Bike Alliance from thenceforth, but the name would change, never change, because that was the original four clans that started the Bike Alliance. Uh, I don't know how long the Bike Alliance lasted for. It lasted long after myself. I don't know if you have a better perspective on that, Hawk. I don't know if it was still around when you were here. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So Bike might have been gone by then. But Bike lasted long. Oh, I just found the Bike Discord. Someone talked on the Bike Discord um, three days ago. <laughs> so I guess <laughs> it is to a degree still a thing. And it's named after Infamy. I mean, Infamy is the, the basis that led to Bike. But the original Bike Discord, I know, crashed and failed. There's there's actually two Discords. I'm in the Bike Alliance Discord and the Bike Community Discord hyphen old server because <laughs> it died and then new Bike happened. But it, it's still based off of Infamy because Infamy's the best. Of course, um, of course. Yeah, uh... Grant would again get bored and decide to leave. Herc not wanting to take on responsibility. Uh, the guild was then put in the hands of a man named Jotro. And I don't know much of Jotro's leadership because I uh, ended up leaving not long after myself. But I think Joe was a very good leader. Um, I, I think people could probably attest to that. He's a very kind guy. He's very funny. I like Joe. But um, two days before I left a young woman named Huckle would join the clan. And Huckle, I know, would go on to be the leader after uh, Joe. I don't know what led to those instances. I don't know much about Huckle's uh, career here, but I do know that she joined right as I left Infamy. And my, my career in Infamy lasted with the first message, getting advisor twice, and then leaving on my one-year anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> And that was my my time in infamy. Is there any any history points you can think of that I left out? Not that I think like so you left on your one year anniversary, right? Yes. So what was it like twenty seven? Uh, what date? What it year? It would have been that? August twenty fourth, twenty seventeen. Okay. That was when I left four years ago now, almost. There's a three year gap there then, because I joined in twenty twenty February. Oh, wow, yeah, there's a big... I thought you joined uh, more the, before that. When <laughs> I left the guild, the active people went by the names of Taventane, Texas Boy, Weasley, um, Boy in the Coin, pe people like that. Those, that was like the active group that was taking over as I left. It was a group I enjoyed playing with, but they weren't the original kids that I played with. So Infamy goes through like phases of people, you know? Right. It, it's kind of like a beautiful gem that gets passed down. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a conversation point. <laughs> um, yeah, so I when, think it's important. What? When I joined, it was uh, um, Sex and Halo, and it was right before Rob got blacklisted. I don't know who Rob or the other two people you said were. <laughs> Just shows how much of a gap there was. Exactly. A long time. A lot of history, I'm sure, happened at that time, and I hope you can find someone to pick up where I've left off, but I think it's important for members of Infamy to know their history, know from where they came, and know the the basis of what Infamy stood for in those days. Infamy is not just a place to play Minecraft. It It's more than that. It's a community. It, it's a group of people that are friends, and that friend group changes over time, and that's okay. It's okay to not always have the same people around, and you can miss them, and you can play with them, and you can bring them back to play more. But it's a constantly evolving group, and it should never be forgotten that evolution, while scary, is not a bad thing. And Infamy will continue to grow and change. And so, here we are. Five years of Infamy in one video. If you made it this far without clicking off, good for you! There is no reward, but I do appreciate that you're still here. Thank you for your support, and we here at the staff team of Infamy cannot wait for year six, and hope that you stick around.